going to do is just lay on my water. So this is just clean water, and I'm cutting around the um, the shape of the bird yeah. with the water. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll just block all this in. So needless to say, try and be a little bit careful when you do this and don't, uh, I know it's a bit paint by number-ish, but try not to go too far over the edge. You can go a little bit over the edge. If you go too far over the edge, the colour is going to bleed into the bird too much, which we don't really want. We want it to just have a, um, a soft bleed, but not too much of a bleed. Otherwise you'll start to lose the shape. Right, so there we go. So that's my first area covered with water. Take my colour. Okay. And then I wet it to here, but what I don't want to do is drop the colour in there. I'm starting from about this side of the head, so it'll just softly creep that way, but it won't um, leave a hard line, if you see what I mean. It might leave a line down here, which I'll need to take care of, but I'm starting further back from where I've wet it. Okay. Um, Stuart, did you do under the bird? Yeah. Uh, no, I've just taken it to, it to, just okay. to where the front there is, and then I'll yeah. just probably wash it out down the bottom here, okay? Yeah. So here we go then, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with drop the colour in. And you see it just runs, there's no way of controlling it. It's going to go wherever it wants to go. And it's going to go all the way to the bottom because I've got an angle on my board. But we can keep it nice and soft, which is the nice thing. So I'm just going to drop it in here. And the other nice thing as well is you don't actually really need to um, draw around the edge. You just touch. You just touch where the water is, and that will take the paint around around the um, the edge of the bird. So just going to wash this out now down the bottom here, just with water. Just take that away. And the other thing I need to just be careful of, mindful of, is where it's meeting my reflection. So I'm just washing that away as well, okay? So it's all really nice and soft. So in now, right. I just overlap that top edge. And again, I'm not going right up to the edge. I'm just going to feather it into that area and just let the water take care of it. I'm now going to do this dry. So this is dry, the paper. This is still wet. So I'm going to pull out and you'll get these nice brush marks. So going around my masking fluid. Now I need to look at my reference just to see how far to cut in. Okay. So I'm cutting in now into where the feathers are going to be coming. And this is on dry, okay? So then I can get some nice brush marks. Give it some welly in there. Cut in there a little bit. So I've only just masked out the tips of these um, feathers just to um, preserve the the finer point, you know, the tip, the very, very um, pointy bit. Oh, need to lo not lose my drawing there. I kind of forgot where I was going. Control the, the wetness of that area. Okay. So then we come round the tail feathers. <clears throat> Cutting in down here. Down to the water line over here and then I'm going to wash it away again. So just using clean water, clean water, plenty of clean water, watching any little bits like that. Just wash it all away so we get the nice, a nice glowy bit at the bottom. There we go. And that's pretty much, oops, mop that up, mop that up. My damp brush down and along 
a couple of the edges. So a little bit softer through here. Quite like that sharpness. I think I might keep that. Soften it there a bit. A little bit softer under here. Just going to soften off the tail a little bit. Obviously, it's it's wet already, and drop that in. <laughs> and then the next thing, then because I can't really go into this dark area just yet because the beak's still wet, I'm going to start to bring some washes in and around the head and around the eye. A little bit of water now on the the forehead. So just get a bit of this colour in here. Bit of that there, and then we'll also take that with some water. So I'm just going to encourage this colour just to spread a little bit with just some water now. I'm bringing it down down the um, the front of the head into the under section of his chin. Back up a little bit there. Well, I don't know if you can see, but it's now starting to hit the texture <coughs> that I put on at the beginning. Well, yeah. Um, which is giving me a little bit of uh, variation in this wash, which is quite nice. Does... Just work those together a touch. And I'm just going to use this almost the purple as my shadow. There's a little bit of a little bit of um, colour under the eye here. And then that kind of continues down into under the chin. And then I might as well take that all the way down into our oranges. And then we've got some shadow just under his neck in this area. So whilst it, you know, whilst the paper's wet, I'm just dropping this colour in just to get a bit of that shadow in. Beak. Beak. <laughs> beak. Okay, beak. Yeah, we'll call it the beak. Nice beaks. Using black there or... So this is like a indigo or a very dark Ooh. blue uh, with some burnt sienna in it. Okay. Whoa, that is... Mm. And the reason for that is that it just softens it off the touch. It's not too, too solid. But the dome kind of comes out a little bit more there. There we go. And then coming down into his nose. And then we've got some dark under the beak. Okay. All right. Oops. Just not the uh, eagle. Uh, so I'm also going to take this same colour into the eye because it's all it's all about the same same tone. So I'm just going to manipulate that into the eye area up there. There we go. So there's the eye in. Just to bleed it out into the water a little bit. A bit more purple, just to darken up under the neck. Get that to stand out a little bit more. It's a bit too light at the moment. And again, just softening, just soften that off a bit. Okay, and then we'll just work that into the body of the neck. I'm going to do the other side now. Well, on this left hand side, I'm going to make it bluer. So I'm just going to use some of the cerulean again. Just cerulean, so the same, almost the same color as the 
the water that we put on, running it just along the edge. And I'm going to soften that in. Just all the way down, making sure I don't have any hard, hard lines anywhere. Keep it all really nice and soft. Okay, now we're getting into the shadow area. So this area through here is going to be shadowy. So that's going to be bluey purples. And I'm going to wet it first. So I'm going to wet my shadow area. Ideally with clean water, it's a bit dirty, but never mind. Coming down to where it meets the main part of the neck. <clears throat> so all the way down. Just wash that out through there. So again, bluey purples. A bit cleaner. Need to wipe my palette out a bit. So the cerulean, oops, and the um, purple colour that I was using before. Put those two together to give me my shadow colour. So it's quite a bluey purple. <coughs> Starting at the top of the wing. Right, so let's just soften this off. Coming down the wing. Just work that up a little bit higher. All the way through. I'm going to go slightly more blue. Yeah. yeah, so this was wet first. We're coming all the way down to the base of the neck. I'm going to just manipulate this a touch. Just to tease it over to the right or the left, I should say. There we go. So this is the next wing now, which is kind of sitting in front of that bluey purple. Uh, sorry, a greeny grey mix. So this is the front edge of the next wing. A few drops of that in there. Back to my blues. A little bit more water in it this time though because I don't want it to be too quite so strong. So just coming into our so these are like some feathers that are um, wrapping round the the wing. Just to indicate where those are. So coming down into this front area of the of the wing a little bit more blue there coming down a bit more water just wash this start to wash this out now as we come down into the uh, lower part of the wing There we go, and then just lose all of these edges by just softening them off. Just really get this to lovely. go round the corner. To start to change the marks from being more vertical to more uh, curved. Just drop a few more darker bits in there. So if you're going to go back up into a wash like I'm doing here, you need to put on thicker colour. So less water, more paint, okay? Less water. Less port water, more pigment. Otherwise, you'll just end up cauliflowering it. Yes. So a little bit of that in there. Okay, and then I'm just going to soften this edge. Just wash all of this away now. So we get some softer, 
softer pieces of colour on this wing. <coughs> I'm just alternating between blue and purpley blues. So just continue the shape up here so it's a bit more domed. More blue. <coughs> Much more purple. More purple down the bottom here. Just to get it to go around the corner. Just make sure we've got no hard edges. And then underneath that, I'm going to put a little bit more shadow with a slightly stronger purple, like I did up here to suggest that we've got some shadow under the wing. And just let that bleed up into the wetter area that we've just created. And just let that run away into the moist area. And then take that up the wing it's soft so the shadow almost just disappears. I've got a little bit more shadow so I'm going to go slightly orangey, uh, yellowy again in the purples. A bit greener actually I should say. This is going to be a greeny shadow coming down this way. under the wing. Okay, and then I'll just soften off part of that, not the whole thing. And I will put some purple and yellow together. Fairly light, I don't want it to be too, too dark. Just to start to give me a, a bit of shadow <coughs> on this front area of the body which then I can take a little bit up the neck to work those colours together. Soften that off. Okay and then whilst that's still drying I'm going to just wet the whole bottom section of the of the swan along this edge so just popping some water along that edge and then what I'm going to do then is take that same grey that I've just used which was the purple the yellow and a little bit of blue and on the north side of that so on the dry side of that edge I'm just going to drop a little bit of this colour in places and let it bleed down into that water. Kind of breaking the edge up a little bit so it's not too, too strong. Some little hacky marks. bit stronger still. Let that bleed down. So just bleed all those away. Just to get the reflection started. And then I'm going to make that a bit darker. So more purple, more blue. A little bit more yellow in it. Kind of wet and wet. Just drop some darker marks into the water. A bit darker here. Just 
start to work some of these colours in. Just create a few little shapes. Just to suggest um, the uh, 